Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a fun springtime project featuring Cricut chipboard and Arteza paints. First I'll cut my Cricut chipboard. I'll make sure that my wheels are pushed all the way to the side and I'll tape down all four sides of the chipboard to the mat. I will use my strong grip mat, but this just helps the chipboard stick to the mat and not move while it's being cut by the knife blade. Then I'll just peel the chipboard away from the mat, revealing my cut. Now I'll use my regular mat to cut my vinyl. I wanted to use the chipboard on the canvas with the vinyl to give it a little bit more dimension and character to the project. When my vinyl has been cut, I'll peel it away from the mat, trim away the excess, and weed to place it onto the canvas. For this project, I'm going to spray paint my canvas a beautiful shade of purple. I use a piece of paper from the Natalie Malin collection to paint my chipboard and protect my surface. This is some of my absolute favorite paper and I will link it in the description box below. Now I'm going to mix up my paint. I use the shade Rose from Arteza and I'll paint it directly onto the chipboard. The chipboard is great for using with acrylic paints and I like to use the Arteza paints because it is so rich with pigment. I'm just painting the bottom half of each letter and then I'll go back and add a line with my Cricut pen to just add a little bit of dimension to the letters. I find myself always using the Cricut pens for other features than the draw feature in Design Space because they write so smoothly and they are permanent once they dry. So now I'm gonna use my ruler just to make sure that I glue my chipboard letters onto the canvas in a straight line. And now I'll just use hot glue to attach the chipboard letters onto the canvas. You just need a thin line of hot glue. You don't want to oversaturate because once you press down onto the canvas, it can move outside the lines of your project. So just a thin line of hot glue will work. Now I'm going to just weed away the excess vinyl for my spring piece. And I chose a beautiful shade of yellow Cricut permanent vinyl to stick just to give it a really beautiful pop of color. Next, I'm going to use my Cricut transfer tape and my rotary blade to apply the spring onto my canvas. After I get my transfer paper onto the vinyl, I'll just use a scraper to attach it to the transfer tape. And the good thing about Cricut transfer tape is I use it for multiple projects so it will last a really long time. I'll peel away the vinyl backing and it's ready to place onto the canvas. I'm just going to place it directly below the chipboard letters and, and then I've cut out a cute little flower in silver vinyl and I'll place it below the word spring. You can find the flower accent in Design Space and it's free if you have Cricut Access. So I'm just going to use the same transfer tape that I use for the word spring, trim it down and that way my transfer tape lasts longer and it is still just as sticky as it was the first time. One 
one thing I've noticed with the Arteza canvas is that it really held the spray paint. So when I went to scrape with the transfer tape, zero paint pulled up. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more. Like the video if it was helpful. Drop me a comment down below. Happy spring, and I will see you next time.